I'm your roving news anchor, Gorn. And today I have with me Obi One Arm Kenobi. Hello there. Obi One Arm Kenobi, please tell us all how did you end up with just one arm? Well, it all happened back on a summer's day. Bling. I was walking along town, just from, just minding my own business. I'm heading towards Dex's bar and grill, when all of a sudden... Roar! I'm naked clawful! Arr, I have a claw that, like, works and stuff. Ha ha! Naked clawful is here! Roar! And before I even knew what was going on, the force helped me. My arm was cut off. Rah, chop. Ooh. <laughs> Why? Why? Because I'm naked clawful and I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. Well, that is a terrible story, Obi-Wan Arm Kenobi. Back to you, John, in the studio. Wow, that is just terrible, man. Whoa, what a chilling story. Guess we're all going to have to look out for Naked Clawful. He might chop our arms off or something. Today, let's go into Air Raiders. I know I've got a lot of DC figures. I mean, I've still got like 12 DC figures to open up, two or three Transformers things to do. But uh, I know I've, ha I've talked about Air Raiders a lot on this channel, and we've never really delved into them. And I had a couple people request it the other day on the Palaboys live stream. So, uh, yeah, let's, um, let's look at some Air Raiders here first. So what we've got here is the Thunderclaw. Got the box for the Thunderclaw. We got the Thunderclaw vehicle and launcher here with two figures. Comes with two figures there. This is a pretty neat little toy. Um, this one, I think if I, it's been a long time since I bought this, so I don't know what they're currently going for. But when I got this, it was around just around third, between thirty and forty dollars in the box. They might still be pretty low. Air Raiders are not something that, um, unless you go for the really, really big sets, they're not something that people are really going after at the moment. Air launch missile fires when ready, and you can also launch the vehicle from the air launcher. Okay, so yeah, it's, um, my mother called, sorry, right in the middle of doing the video. Air Raiders Air Cannon Blast Thunderclaw into action it includes vehicle, two Air Raider soldiers, missile, and air cannon. Some assembly required, ages five and up. And uh, this was only a dollar ninety-one. It was on clearance. <laughs> Air Raiders all had this kind of backdrop, which was basically the same, but you had a different. Uh, sort of file card, like everything back in the 80s that had file cards. The Thunderclaw never lets go. Crew manned by Jason and Khan, two dedicated soldiers, specially trained to place mission objectives above personal safety, poses lightning fast reflexes and great courage. Possess? They possess. Yeah, I guess. Okay, they possess. Vehicle type, Battle Dasher. Two-seat, multi-sensor, offensive aircraft, power plant, air cannon activated, twin 15,000 ERG air-powered turbo boosters. Boy, that's a lot of made-up nonsense, isn't it? <laughs> Performance, highly maneuverable, can achieve airspeed of Mach 2 in 18 seconds. That would kill anyone who's inside this thing unless they have some kind of anti-gravity, uh, you know, inertial dampeners or something. Armament, two air-to-air, air-to-ground, short-range air hammer cannons, an indestructible Raider Claw. Wow, totally indestructible, huh? That's absolutely amazing. Onboard specifications equipped with magnetic anomaly detectors that home in on deposits of galvanized air. Can you have galvanized air? 
front mounted blast resistant raider claw clamps onto enemy vessels for boarding air cargo ships wow the air raiders thunder claw they live in airlandia if you can believe that yeah a distant world where air is more precious than gold where the cruel tyrants of wind have seized control of all the air only the air raiders a band of valiant re rebels dare defy the evil dictators with a convoy of air vehicles, these brave heroes battle the tyrants, struggling to restore the breath of freedom. Whoa! Air Raiders, the power is in the air! <laughs> so this was very like, what? Okay, sure. That can happen, yeah. <laughs> but, that no, was a cool toy. I enjoyed them. I really had fun with these things when I was a kid. So let's delve into the uh, vehicle itself. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I've got all the um, inserts and instructions and this has this whole story about the Air Raiders. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it over each paragraph or set of paragraphs. And if you want to pause and read this, you can pause and read this. I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's quite long. So there you go. That's the first couple paragraphs. Then it moves down to this picture and goes over to this paragraph. Airlandia. That's cool. So then we go down to this picture. And you see it grabbing onto the side of the hull with its indestructible pincers. And you got this couple paragraphs that go with that. So you can pause there and read the last bit of it. And it is fourth in a series. So there are at least three more parts to this incredible story. Wow. And then on the back is the Thunderclaw. Instructions. Air Raiders. The power is in the air. The Thunderclaw Instructions. So this was quite complicated to put together. Lots of parts, lots of stickers, and various other things. So pretty cool. It's always good to have all the inserts and instructions when you have these things if you've got the box. It's pretty cool, you know. <clears throat> the figures in this set, good guys all looked like this. They're basically five POA, arms and legs that move. And their head... Um, actually, I don't think their heads turn. So they're just four POA. They all had this slot in the leg. And that was their equivalent of a, a hole and peg. So if there's a little slot on the vehicle, you could slot them into it, you know. But good guys looked like this. Every good guy looked the same. So even though these said Jason and Khan, well, Jason and Khan look absolutely identical. So you can't tell... Which one's Jason and which one's Khan? Like, there's no way to tell. And all the bad guys looked like this. Purple dudes in their suits of armor or whatever. And like when you had the uh, army of them, they looked like Jason and Khan. They looked like Jason and Khan. But then you had the leader guy, and he was slightly different. Air Raiders Battle Squad includes four Air Raider officers... Or includes an air raider officer and four soldiers. So all the officers looked like that guy and all the soldiers looked like them. So Jason and Khan were just two of the soldiers. But um, I like having one sealed five pack. Plus that was another cool thing with the figures. You get five figures for the price of one Star Wars guy. What? Airlandia. I like how it's called Airlandia. Free Air for All Free Men, Air Raiders Battle Squad, heroic freedom fighters determined to rid Airlandia of the evil emperor and the tyrants of wind and make air free again. Gallant rebels always ready to help those in need, whatever the circumstance, sabotage, demolition, and raiding experts, less equipped than their tyrant enemies, but specially trained, critical to the Air Raider cause carry free breeze blasters that crystallize targets on contact 
led by Lieutenant Noble, a fearless, dedicated fighter. So they used Febreze, just like we clean the air today in our apartments and homes with Febreze. These guys use Febreze and blast people who crystallize their targets with Febreze. 1987 Hasbro, Pawtucket, Rhode Island, so blah, blah, blah. Actually, that's Free Breeze, isn't it? It's not Febreze. It's Free Breeze. <laughs> I'm just being weird. Battle Squad. All right, yeah. So you get the idea. So you get a five-pack of figures, the good guys, and there was a five-pack of bad guys. Same deal. All the bad guys were purple. All the good guys were orange. Just kind of kept it all, you know, together. Easily to tell, you know, whatever you want to call it. All right, let's um, get the air power going here. This little thing, because, um... whoa, we just shot the missile. What? And I'll hook it up to this machine and we'll shoot the machine. I found the missile. It didn't get lost to the toy room like a lot of other times. So this guy, this bad guy is all like, hey, help me. Don't let them get me with their indestructible claw thing. And the good guys are like, yeah, we're going to get you because they have this lever back here. And when you push this lever, the, the indestructible claw opens up. And he's like, no, I don't want to get crushed. Ugh, I'm getting crushed. And he's trapped in there now. He's like, oh, I'm trapped in there now. There's nothing I can do. I'm so trapped. Even when I take off and fly, I'm trapped in there. That's it. And then, like, the good guys can be like, let's drop him. Oh, we dropped him. He fell to his doom. Oh, I fell to my doom. Yeah, so he's dead. And we got these laser guns that turn. Look at that. And this thing, like, moves on wheels. There's, like, wheels on the bottom. These wheels here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's like... And yes, you can even hook up the air gun to this hole back here. There's a hole in the back. You can hook it up. What? No way. And then I'm going to put my hand like way over here to stop it so it doesn't crash into my stuff. And then I'm going to pull this back. You just push down on this air cannon. It's just a big air bladder. Whoa! Did you see that? Holy cow! Yeah, so this little air bladder doesn't pop back out as much that easy just launches the thing let's try that again no we're not ready oh yeah hang on back there ah! <laughs> so you can see i mean like i'm having endless fun with this thing right now so there you go guys endless hours of fun with the air raiders launcher and thunderclaw vehicle a couple figures just showing them off Hope you guys enjoyed that one. And to all of you who've been waiting patiently for me to do an Air Raiders vehicle, there you go. I come through in the end eventually. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You will not be disappointed. Like I said, I've got, you know, 10 or 12 more DC characters to open up from McFarlane Toys. We got a couple of Transformers sets. We got some Batman stuff. I got a Batmobile that just came in today. And uh, we got some cool stuff. So we got a lot of cool new stuff to look at. As well as just untold riches in the vintage area. Yeah, from the 60s, 70s, 80s, all the way up to what came out last week. I collect it all because I love toys. And if you love toys, then this is the channel for you. So yeah, hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate you guys all watching and sticking with me. And we'll talk to you guys next time. See you later.